want it, I need it, and I'm gonna have it. Here we go again. Live, we have our guest. This is the photographer Teresa Kaler and our model Kathy David. And um, by the way, this is Neil Newman. He was on set with us. We were shooting. He had a second camera and he also edited. We'll be talking tech with Neil a little bit later because it's a final cut. Versus I'm a tech guy. Tech guy over there. <laughs> All right. Well, that was fantastic. So this was your first photo shoot, you said? Yeah, my first. Oh my God. Well, how did it feel? I know you were cold. She was I was cold. <laughs> um, but I just tried to make the best of it and tried to just put the cold behind me. And um, I just wanted to see how I photograph and, you know, my body and see where I need to work on. And um, I, I think she... Uh, it was fun. I think she nice photographed body. some... I think you nailed that part. Yeah, I think she did that really, really well. Mm -hmm, she did. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so what did you do to prepare for the shoot? Um... I just tried to go to the gym as much as I could when I found out that I was going to do it. Yeah. I think I went for like a week almost every day and just tried to eat healthier. I went and got tan since it was a beach shoot because <laughs> it's winter. Okay, I need to know this. Was it a spray on tan or was it like a, a fake tan? It was a spray on tan. Spray on tan. Spray on Take tan. Take notes. Spray on tan. <laughs> I don't want tan. <laughs> when I was modeling, I, I had done that quite a bit myself, shot on the beach. And I remember, and actually I'll, later in doing commercials and acting and doing films, for example, here you are, you're out on the beach, you're freezing cold, and you're trying to look beautiful. It's true, like your lips are turning blue, and you have to stand there, hopefully I don't come undone here, and, and, and you have to stand there, and you're standing in these odd poses, right? I call it the Model S, you know? <laughs> oh, and yes. you're standing in these odd poses like this, and you're trying to be all beautiful, but inside you're going, <laughs> <laughs> What's even funnier is like, yeah, I've done television commercials when I'm out on the beach, going, <laughs> and then you have a copy that you're just supposed to read, and you're reading that's it like that. <laughs> and then the director says to you, goes, can you, that's good, that's good. Take 47, can you stop the chatter? <laughs> and you're like, no. Speaking of what it's like to be a model and actually get out there and do it. I wanted to talk to you. Now, as far as you being an aspiring model, do you also mm -hmm. want to be an actress? I feel comfortable in front of the camera and I think it would be fun. Well, the reason why I ask is that this one thing to remember about this industry is that it is absolutely a business. Yeah. Whether you want to be a model, an actress, or, or whatever. You are a, I hate, when somebody told me this, I actually hated it, but I, I really do think it's true. You're a product. Now that sounds uncomfortable, but that's actually what you are, and you have to market yourself as a as a product. Whatever it takes to make yourself better. It's like you're saying you were working out, you're doing this, and educating yourself in regards to you know different actors and actresses that you like. Any of the classes that you want to take is is really fantastic. How did you get into photography? We'll start there. Like, well, I used to always take pictures at every party that I'd go to, mm -hmm. and then I'd pass out pictures to everyone after. And one of my friends started a clothing line and asked me to photograph the line for her. Uh huh. And it was my first paid job, and I loved it. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see this, but uh, maybe you might want to explain. Can you get a little, get, get in tight and take a look? Ah, ooh, baby. My agent is always asking me for new photographs. He's always asking for a new look. Um, this looks drama, and also to me, high fashion. Am I am I right with your yes? Your this thinking? girl's definitely high fashion. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. This is Philippa, this right? This is Philippa. Philippa is a, a model that, and friend of ours. She's a, also an excellent horsewoman. She's she's terrific. Yeah. Yeah. This is Monkiki, and she is a lovely model as well. And this is my oh, favorite shot ever. Um, this girl's on the Janice Dickinson modeling show. Her name's Lisa Riddle, and I took this for the Miss Malibu pageant. Oh, this is my beautiful. favorite model. Sorry, Kathy, we haven't worked too much together oh, okay. yet. <laughs> this is Jen Marie. She's with Q Models. Oh. And I have a few of her, so I'll just scroll through. But this Take a look girl at that. Is, Oh, gosh. This girl is just Now, to outrageous. me, can you, can you stop here for a second? Actually, go back to that other this picture one? right there. Now, that mm -hmm. is interesting because she looks like she could do uh, high fashion mm -hmm. She's and, and um, commercial. I think even if... 
you know, your expertise, like for me, I was really much more of a commercial model in the day. <laughs> but when you looked at my whole book, there would be shots in there that I was definitely pushing the high fashion envelope, and it really broadens your, your, your look. Here we go again. I demand more. I want it, I need it, and I'm going to have it. Here we go again. Well, I wanted to mention one thing that I found really interesting when I was doing a little bit of research on the guests for the show. I noticed a coincidence about you mm -hmm. and legendary film actress and Hollywood pinup Mamie Van Doren. Can you guess what it is? No. Not yet. Can you guess what it is? <laughs> George, out there on the internet, can you guess what it is? No. Um, <laughs> you started your career, from what I'm feeling, in the pageants, is that correct? What was your first pageant that you ever did? My first pageant was um, Miss Greater Lakewood. Not that many people know the city Lakewood because it's a, kind of a smaller city. Mm -hmm. But um, I was Miss Greater Lakewood teen. I won my first pageant. And then from there, um, if you won it, you go to Miss California Teen USA. Mm -hmm. And that was my second pageant. And it was, it was really, really different because there's probably about, I think there were 60 other teens that I was competing against. And all of them are like, they have a lot more money and coaches and great wardrobe and this was my only second pageant, and I came from like a small city, so I wasn't that prepared for it. But um, I just love the experience, and it taught me a lot. And I just I like doing pageants; it teaches you a lot and confidence, and um, it's just fun. You meet a lot of good people. Well, so. then it was a Malibu pageant where you you I met Teresa and everything like mm -hmm. that. Well, this is the thing that I found out: Mamie Van Doren. Um, was disco discovered by Howard Hughes. Howard Hughes, you guys remember. Um, yeah. He was the aviator, and sure. he had a company called RKO. Right. Um, and he apparently had an attraction to uh, younger women. Because when Mamie Van Doren was only 15, he discovered her the night that she was crowned Miss Palm Springs. And that was in 1948, and she was, again, she was only 15 oh. years old. Woo! <laughs> well, it gets even more interesting. He had a uh, little... We went out with her, okay, I guess they call it an affair, for a couple years, and I'm like, that's a subject all in itself. She was 15, I, you know, mm, 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 mm. So we got a chance, we're going to watch this next clip, we got a chance to take a look at her when she was on the red carpet in Hollywood. She was debuting her new wines. They're called Maimitage, Maimitage. Boy, she's an exciting, interesting woman. We'll wait till you see. So let's uh, take a look at this clip. Let's see how we do that <laughs> transition. <laughs>